Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you all and I would like to personally thank you for removing time for our presentation. My name is Karthik Johari from Reseller Club and I'll be giving you a detailed demo of our entire system, that is the order box control panel. This presentation will definitely help you leverage on all the features of our control panel and help you automate the entire business and make it very easy and extremely smooth to manage. I would just like to mention here that if you have any questions during this presentation, you can mail them in to sales at resellerclub.com and we'll definitely get back to you on the same. So without further ado, let's dive straight, at, straight back in. I'm sure at this point all of you are already aware of our business and what we do and how we go about doing it. As for managing your business is concerned, we have received many queries regarding our control panel as to how are the various settings done, etc. So we thought we'd dedicate an entire presentation on the control panel itself and explain each and every feature in detail. So this right here is our control panel and I'm sure that all of you are at least familiar with it. So and of course you've seen it once in a while. So just to give you a recap, our control panel is virtually divided into four main sections. Many of these sections overlap and I'll try to explain them in a flow that you would generally follow while you would be setting up your business for the first time. Getting started then. So the first thing that all of us need to do is to make the general and the default settings of our interface. So for that we need to go to settings, personal information, and all of your work is primarily concerned with the first two tabs. So you have your primary profile and your contact information. So let's take a look at the primary profile page. As you can see on your screen over here are all the details such as your reseller ID, your parent ID, your sales contact, all the, all and apart from that all the other information which you have inputted during our entire sign up process. Apart from this, so once again we need to go into settings, personal information and contact information. As you can see, here are the various contact informations for all the different profiles which you would require. So you have your general billing contact information, your general sales contact information, and all of them are editable. And if you need to make any changes, this is from where you'd be doing it. Within, the f within these first two tabs that we just saw, you can modify all the contact information and the personal details of the account that you provided during the sign up process. So once this is done, we need to go again on the settings other branding settings and default language. Here is where you can set the default language of your control panel. So every time you log into the control panel, it will be displayed in your chosen language. Now moving on to the basic uh, finance and billing settings. So for that once again you need to go to settings, finance and billing and general settings. Here is where you can set the selling currency. So that is the currency at which you wish to sell the products and services and your accounting currency. That is the currency at which you wish to maintain your book of accounts in. A very important point to note is that these currencies cannot be changed once you sell your first product. So if you wish to cater to a different country and sell in their own local currency, you can create sub reseller accounts under your main account and then specifically target that country. We then have the funds threshold level. The amount you enter in this box acts as your funds threshold and the moment your funds drop below this level, that is in the advance account that you maintain with us, a notification will be sent to you to add more funds if you so wish to do so. This feature basically enables you to have enough funds in your account so that at no point in time your sales are affected due to a lack of funds. The next feature in this setting is the setting for minimum transactions for both making payments as well as adding funds. This feature is applied when your customers and sub resellers wish to make any sort of transactions. It also controls the amount of transactions done through an online payment gateway. Alright, so now that your basic settings are done, you should move on to selecting the products and services that you wish to sell through Reseller Club. For that, we need to go once again under the settings tab. and we go to Managed Products Sign Up. Of course, that's Managed Products and Pricing.
all right so here's the page where you have all your products listed down so you have domain registration you have web services that will include your email only plans your windows and linux hosting plans and along with them the uh, when they're bunched together into one plan with the email hosting as well and your website builder plan at the very top of the screen uh, you have a setting which is enabled here that is automatically sign up for new products which is enabled so what this does is that if one when we at reseller club launch a new product so suppose a new TLD is launched or a new hosting plan is launched you would be automatically signed up for that and you will be able to go ahead and sell it your customers will be able to purchase it from you as soon as the product is launched if you wish to disable it you can do so but then every time a new product or a new service is launched by us here at reseller club you will need to come on to this page and manually sign up for it if you wish to sell it post that there is a selling status for customers for each of the products listed here so let's just click on windows web hosting and email plan so all the statuses are set to selling as of now so let's go and change that So as I mentioned, you have three options here and I'll just briefly explain what each of these options available mean. Active indicates that you wish to, you know, sell. So the sell option is exactly that, that you want to go ahead and sell the product. No new orders basically indicates that you can discontinue selling the chosen product, but the existing customers will be able to use the product seamlessly and will be even to modify it or renew it, etc but the do not sell option will actually make the product unavailable to all your customers and sub resellers obviously you can choose this option only if you do not have an active order for that specific product so that's how you can actually go ahead and select the products and the services that you wish to sell once you once you've done that you can move on to setting the pricing and pricing plans and promotions for all of the products so let's take a look at that so once again we will have a look at unlimited windows hosting and let's click on the manage price tab all right so as you can see we're on the pricing page for the unlimited windows hosting plan there are certain actions that are associated with every order which are the add the renew and if you wish to add a dedicated IP to the hosting order so for that you have your cost price mentioned and your selling price per month and on an on an annu annual basis as well over here is also where the telescopic pricing feature kicks in and you will be able to add slabs and leverage discounted prices for a longer duration of time so the default option over here is 36 months because we've already added a slab for 24 months so let's go ahead and add a slab right now right so for a add new order you will be able in the box here you can go ahead and fill in what pricing you wish to apply and the system will automatically generate a pricing for the 36 month period and it'll work the same way for the renew option of course a dedicated IP is pretty much the same cost so if you modify it in the selling price for 12 months it will reflect across throughout the, all the slabs and post that you need to click on the update pricing button and that will take care of it and this is how you can actually go ahead and go and set manage the pricing for each and every one of your individual products so let's go back to the previous page once again just how we modify the pricing for a customer in the very same way you can go ahead and modify the pricing for a sub reseller as well so if you're again once again talking about the windows web hosting and email plan you have the option of managed price here where you can go ahead on the next page and set their base selling price and you can go ahead and modify it post this is done we can also we can also take a quick look at the currently available promos and we can go ahead and try and so let's go ahead and manage the price for a promo as well 